have fun playing this game without you guys, but today we have a cool lesson for you, so come on! For this experiment, you'll need a plate that has enough space for you to pour a liquid in. I like to use whole milk or 2% milk would work as well, and you pour that into your plate. Say hello to Moose because he wants attention too. Um, next, you'll take food coloring. There should be four different colors inside of your box. Here, you will squirt one dot into your milk, preferably around the center of the plate. I messed up a little bit and have a little bit of food coloring outside of that little center spot and have more than four dots, but that is okay. Once you have your four dots of food coloring, you'll take a Q-tip. This is typically used to clean your ears, but you probably can find one in your bathroom. And you'll take dish soap and put dish soap on the tip of your Q-tip. Once you have that set, you'll stick the Q-tip right into the plate. Don't press too hard, and you'll see the liquid start to move around. Milk is mostly water, but it also contains vitamins, minerals, proteins, and tiny droplets of fat suspended in the solution. Fats and proteins are sensitive to changes in surrounding solution. The secret of the bursting colors is the chemistry of that tiny drop of soap. Dish soap, because of its bipolar characteristics, weakens the chemical bonds that hold the proteins and the fats together in the solution. The soap's polar or hydrophobic end attaches to a fat globe in the milk. This is when the fun begins. Okay, thanks for watching. Now I'm gonna go back and lose this game. Symbols can be traced all the way back to prehistoric times. The symbol is a member of the percussion family. The symbol is a thin, round metal plate that serves to provide colorful effects to the overall sound of the orchestra. Some of the most popular symbols include tiny finger symbols, crash symbols, and suspended symbols. The symbol can be played very loudly or very softly. Crash symbols, as pictured in this video, are held by placing your hands through a strap that is attached to the outside of the symbol. They are played by sliding one symbol across the other and striking the rim of one symbol against the rim of the other symbol. The modern symbol ranges from 30 centimeters to 65 centimeters in diameter. Today we will be making our own symbols. If you want to learn how, keep on watching. For supplies, you will need a paper plate, some yellow paint, twine, and some scissors. The first thing you will need to do is paint both of the paper plates yellow. Once you are finished, leave it to dry for at least a few minutes in order to complete the next step. This is very important. When you are finished painting, your plates should look like this. Next, you will take your twine or any kind of string and cut two pieces of string. Next thing you need to do is take the scissors and insert two holes into the plates in order to put your string. Once you have put the two holes in the plates, you will get your string and you'll put it into the two holes. Next, you will flip the plate over and you will tie it almost as if you were tying your shoes.
Once you have finished tying, make sure that your hand fits. This is a very important step because if your hand doesn't fit, then you can't use the symbol. You will then repeat this step with the other plate, making sure that the string goes in the holes and tying the back so that your hand is able to fit properly. After completing this step with the strings, you're all set and ready to go and to play your DIY symbols.